नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइड एंड वेलकम बैक टू वन मोर प्रॉब्लम वीडियो दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन पाई बाई टेन Now it is in radians. If you consider it in degrees, it will be sine eighty, because pi is one eighty divided by ten. That will give you eighteen degrees. So sine eighteen degree value. If someone asks you, now uh, there are some class of people who consider not learning formulas apart from those standard angles, but if you are sitting in a competitive examination and you desire to save time this is one such formula you should remember but before remembering anything if you uh, have that derivation in mind it is easier to uh, learn it and remember it for a longer duration of time so let's jump in into that derivation so now we have pi by 10 with us Clear. What can we do here? Pi by ten. That is eighteen degree, isn't it? Pi by ten. Is eighteen degrees. Not a good angle to see, but if you see five times this angle. If I consider five pi by ten, that is undoubtedly a good angle because five times of this is ninety degree. So we'll start off with let. Or why let uh, we already know from uh, pi by ten we know equals to eighteen degree. Sorry, uh, bit of a confused start. Let x equals to pi by ten. This is in radians. Now, I, I according to my idea, if I find five times x, that is five pi by ten. You cancel this out. You are getting five times of x equals to pi by two. Now, this five times of x can further be broken as two times x plus three times x. Two times x plus three times x equals to pi by two. Now what I can do? Okay. So if I let this two x remain this side and send that three x to the other side, why I have done this? Let's see. Now, if I take sine on both sides now, because sine is an operator, what will I get? I will get sine two x equals to sine. Ninety, which is pi by two minus three. This is the reason why I took three x to the other side, because now sine ninety minus theta is cos theta. So this becomes sine two x cos three x. What as I can do? This is two sine x cos x. But what about cos three x? Now cos three x, if I consider cos 
3x if I consider that is equal to 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. Put that value here. Cancel one cos from both sides. So you will get 2 sin x equals to 4 cos square x minus 3. Now because we have sin x, write this cos square x also in terms of sin x. So that way we will be having 2 sin x equals to 4 times 1 minus sine squared x. So 2 sine x plus 4 sine square x and 4 minus 3 is 1 that side but when it will come here it will become minus 1 equal. Slightly more rearrangement so 4 sine square x Can you relate this to a quadratic equation? On the other channel I just uh, posted a video where I uh, solved trigonometric equations using by reducing them to quadratic because this is one more method to solve a trigonometric equation. So we reduce this to uh, just like quadratic for that uh, no more a problem is there if you are having un if you are uncomfortable with this you can lick sin x as t for some time just for some time 4t square plus 2t minus 1 equals to 0 because it is not easily factorizable okay because if you look at the discriminant what will be that 4 plus 16 20 not will never go for factorization in this case so what will we do use the quadratic formula so t will be minus 2 plus minus under root b square minus 4 into a into c 2a this is 20 which can further be written as 4 into 5 4 can come out as 2 We can now cancel 1, 2 from numerator and denominator. This is the value of t. Now, we were finding the value of, let's first replace this. So, t was your sin x. Now, we have started solving this problem assuming x as pi by 10 which is 18 degrees. First quadrant angle, okay. So, positive it, it should be uh, sin x should be positive in uh, first quadrant because angle is in the first quadrant. Let's see what happens. So it says that either sin x is sorry or 
साइन एक्स इज सॉरी सॉरी अगेन हेयर वी हैव दिस इफ यू कैंसिल टू फ्रॉम बोथ साइड सो इन डिनोमिनेटर यू बी लेफ्ट विथ फोर so you are left with 4 in denominator not 2 so now if you see the first one under root 4 you know 2 so under root 5 will be greater than 2 obviously if you subtract 1 so a value greater than 2 minus 1 will give you a value greater than 1 A value greater than 1 obviously is a positive quantity if you divide by 4 still it's positive What about this? Minus one is itself a negative quantity, and you are again subtracting another negative quantity. Sine will be negative only if you divide by four. Doesn't matter. So sine x equals to negative, but our angle was eighteen degree. Sine eighteen needed to be positive. Why? Because sine is positive in first quadrant and second quadrant. First. It's a first quadrant angle because eighteen degree zero to ninety degree lies in the first quadrant, but it should not have been negative. Sine eighteen, I am saying, cannot be negative. Why? Because eighteen degree lies in first quadrant. If you say eighteen degree or pi by ten, doesn't matter. so we will neglect this value and take the first value so here we are sin x equals to this or if you want to write it in a better way then sin 80 is minus 1 plus root 5 by 4 that's what we got today sin x again i am writing x x is 18 degree we have assumed initially i'm writing bigger font so that this goes directly into your mind so this is what we are having at the end of uh, lazy discussion but yes indeed it was needed one day so sin pi by 10 so we assumed x as pi by 10 not good looking 5 times x was indeed a good looking quantity because pi by 2 you are more familiar with again we sent 3x to the other side Took sine on both side, cos 3x value, 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. Then again, 2 sine x. Uh, we cancel one cos from both sides, and now uh, cos. Uh, then we further kept on simplifying. We compared it to a quadratic equation. Took sine x as t, and later on we replaced t by sine x. Use the quadratic formula, which you are already comfortable with. I hope so. That's uh, what we got in the end. Sine x value is minus one plus root five by four. If you want more problems on trigonometric equation, you can visit my other channel, which is uh, RK Edu Galaxy. You will get the uh, links in my channels list in this channel. So that's uh, how we did this problem. Thanks again for watching.